You know, June is a great month because just before June, we had Memorial Day, which is, of course, is a very important holiday. And June has got a lot of great Americana holidays as well. For instance, it's Waylon Jennings' birthday, which happens to be the same day as mine. National Running Day. I go out for National Running Day and I'll run. And another holiday that's pretty important to me is National Donut Day. I don't know how many of you know this, but the donut was invented by Americans. No big shocker, I really like donuts. Most Americans like donuts. As a matter of fact, if you don't like donuts, you're probably not American or maybe you just take good care of your body. Like I said, donuts were purely American, but the Dutch were making these fried dough balls before that, but they tasted like crap. Then in 1847, Captain Hanson Crockett Gregory punched a hole in the center of a dough ball, which made the center of the cakes cook better. William Rosenberg, who was a food franchising pioneer, founded the Dunkin' Donuts chain. Rosenberg opened his first coffee and donut shop called The Open Kettle in Quincy, Massachusetts in 1948. The name was changed to Dunkin' Donuts in 1950. Now, the Army may not have invented the first donut, but it certainly is responsible for making donuts as popular as they are today. The first week of June in 1938, the Salvation Army started Donut Day in Chicago, which honored the work of the women that worked World War I for the Salvation Army. And what those ladies did is they prepared donuts for thousands of soldiers that worked in the war. So, are donuts good for you, even though an apple fritter has apples in it? Well, no, because it's deep fried and fat and blah, 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 blah. Who cares? I'm waiting in line with everybody else at Randy's Donuts. Randy's Donuts has been in Los Angeles since 1953. It's in Inglewood. You've seen it all over the place. It's open 24 hours on the corner of La Cienega and Manchester. It's an apple fritter, a buttermilk, and two maple. I'm a big fan of the apple fritter. You know, Randy's Donuts, good apple fritter. That, that thing right there, which is like three stories high, has been in a whole bunch of movies. Um, I can think Iron Man 2, you might remember Tony Stark sat in that donut and ate a donut. And I kind of like this because when you come to Los Angeles, it's right by LAX. That's one of the first things you see. And in a time when Americana architecture isn't like it used to be in the 50s. You used to have like big, huge things, like a big hot dog for Pink's Hot Dogs. You used to have like a big giant guy holding a tire. And those are all gone by like stupid, just straight signs that are just boring. And now we've still got big donut at Randy's Donuts, reminiscent of the 50s when the place opened up. So I guess let's try the donuts. The first one is that, which is the buttermilk. <laughs> Tastes good, really thick. Good buttermilk until now. Next, we're trying the maple. Actually, the maple is a really good maple donut. Um, let's be honest, there really is no such thing as a bad donut. Somebody said that donuts are like sex. Even when it's bad, it's Actually, no, it's nothing like it's nothing like that. Well, of course, a lot of people are fans of the Krispy Kreme donut. As a matter of fact, I was such a fan of them. I started a skateboard company called Pool School, and I was told to stop using their logo because I guess it looked a little bit like Krispy Kremes, but personally, I don't see it at all. Well, for the sake of this show, I bought the three donuts, and then I ate all three donuts. And you know what? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> if any of you guys have any really cool ideas of some place that you want us to eat or try something, send it to The Fork Show on Twitter. Just follow us on The Fork Show on Twitter and tweet some places that you want us to go to and we'll try to go it on upcoming episodes of Fork in the Road.